Hello, my name is Anthony Tio. I'm from the Department of Surgery, Chinese University of Hong Kong, uh, Prince of Wales Hospital. The title of my paper is U.S. Guided Gallbladder Drainage Reduced Adverse Events as Compared to Percutaneous Cholecystostomy in Patients that Are Unfit for Cholecystectomy. There is currently no data on how the U.S. Guided Gallbladder Drainage compares to percutaneous cholecystostomy as a treatment for patients who were suffering from acute cholecystitis and were unfit for surgery. As a result, we performed this one-to-one -one match cohort study of all patients that were unfit for cholecystectomy and received either U.S. Guided Gallbladder Drainage or percutaneous cholecystostomy. The outcomes of these patients were matched based on age, sex, and ASA grading. The outcome measurements included the technical and clinical success rates, adverse events, hospital stay, the number of unplanned admissions, and also mortality. Between October 2011 and August 2014, a total of 118 patients were included. The technical and clinical success rates were similar. However, in the percutaneous cholecystostomy group, significantly more patients suffer from overall adverse events, serious adverse events, and also required more frequent and planned emissions. This was due to cholecystostomy tube-related problems in 95.2% of the emissions. The 30-day adverse events rates were similar between the two groups. Recurrent acute cholecystitis was also similar between the two groups. The 30-day mortality rates were higher in the U.S. gallbladder drainage group, but did not reach statistical significance. In conclusion, both methods were effective means of obtaining gallbladder drainage. U.S. guided gallbladder drainage may be a promising alternative to percutaneous cholecystostomy for treatment of acute cholecystitis in patients that were unfit for surgery, provided that experienced endosonographers are available. Thank you.